Hey guys, and welcome to The Fish Room. I'm Rachel O'Leary, and as you can see, I've made quite a mess this week with all the daily content I've been giving you. I need your opinions down below. Let me know if you want me to continue to show you all the collection of the fish out in the greenhouse, or if you just want to see the end results. I realize it could get a bit repetitive, but for me, it's one of my favorite parts of the year. I'm going to get this place cleaned up, and we're going to look around the fish room real quick, and I have an idea to share with you one of my top pro tips, but first I wanted to show you these little tiny baby plecos that just emerged a couple days ago. Make sure you're following me on Instagram so you get to see all of these kinds of updates throughout the fish room and the greenhouse. Hey guys, we're going to start today's video with sort of a pro tip. Um, one of the things that I think most people mess up is how much they feed their shrimp. Overfeeding shrimp can be a real problem for a number of reasons. First of which is if you overfeed your shrimp, often we keep shrimp in smaller tanks and that can lead to fluctuations in this cycle and ammonia and nitrite in particular are extremely deadly to shrimp and very quickly. Uh, it's important to remember that shrimp graze 24-7. As we can see in this aquarium, which I haven't really shown you guys yet, all of the shrimp are going absolutely bonkers all over the aquarium. And this means that they need to be fed. If they are just sitting contentedly, they are grazing and they are happy. But as you can see in this aquarium, all of the Amano shrimp are going bonkers and the tank is crystal clear so they have grazed on every surface available and they need to be fed. Now I like to feed my shrimp a range of things but in general dwarf shrimp are omnivores so a good mix of veggie and protein packed pellets are a good idea. I like to feed things that are firmer so that they don't fall apart. You can see there's a molt in the bottom there. So I've dropped in this little bottom feeder pellet and we'll see how long it takes the shrimp to find it and if they settle down. You can see they're all gravitating in that area immediately. The Boraris is the smartest in the group, I guess. Oh, a mono number one found it. Now, a general rule of thumb is about the equivalent of a quarter of an algae wafer between five to 10 shrimp. And I generally supplement them every two to three days in an established aquarium, which means I only feed my shrimp maybe twice a week. Um, again, if they're all actively grazing, they're pretty happy and don't need to be supplemented. Look how beautiful the Boraris are in this aquarium. Now, I'll do a complete video on this aquarium in the future. I'm letting it grow out a bit before I do so. Um, this one was a guest aquascape, and it's a 20 long, and it's not stocked yet. I think I'm going to wait until it's totally complete to tell you guys all about it. But look how amazing those chili rasboras look in here. You can see there's a little tangerine tiger as well. I'm waiting for the shrimp to really discover things. Now with shrimp molts, you can just leave them in the aquarium. The shrimp will often eat them and that's just fine. So some of the other issues that can come from overfeeding your shrimp are the development of things like planaria. And planaria, while not necessarily harmful to your fish, can absolutely be harmful to your shrimp, even killing and eating them. So I try my best to prevent that by keeping my substrate really, really clean and feeding only as much as needed. It's very tempting to overfeed shrimp because they're absolute pigs and they'll always eat. So that's not a very good gauge of if they need to be fed. I find behavior to be much more reliable. Look how beautiful these chili rasboras are. When they mature, they are absolutely striking. And get that iridescence down that exclamation point on their side. Now for contrast, you can see how chill my wild bees are being. They're just actively grazing on every surface. Shrimp will eat 24-7. So rarely in a really well-established tank with lots of plants and driftwood and things like that do they need a ton of supplementation. It's often more of a risk than it is a reward with these guys. 
They will pick at every nook and cranny pretty much nonstop all the time. In fact, if you see shrimp being really still and not acting like this, then you're likely have a problem. Now, Amanos can be drama queens, so I thought I'd show you on my Malawa shrimp when I know they need to be fed. So you can see a lot of these shrimp are kind of scurrying all over and not really relaxing to graze. So these guys also probably need to be supplemented. We'll drop a pellet in there and see what they think. Now within seconds of dropping food into this aquarium, the shrimp are going to town. Pretty soon it will be a bait ball of shrimp. As you can see, there are hundreds in this aquarium. So we have quite a shrimp bait ball within maybe a minute or two. They're very good eaters. I think I'm going to head out to the greenhouse and collect some more fish. Let me know in the comments section down below if you want me to keep showing you that process or if you just want to see the end results. As always, thanks for your continued support.